discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome back to Board Games Unlocked, and we are continuing with Arkham Horror, the card game, The Dunwich Legacy. Oh boy, are we screwed. Well, more me than you. Um, if you <laughs> I'm crazy! <laughs> <laughs> I'm insane, and I'm part of the Fed. Uh, if you remember, we had just went through the college looking for Dr. Henry, not Henry Albertich, looking for Professor Warren Rice. We couldn't find him, but we killed the experiment. We killed the, oh yeah, yeah. right, the, you somehow the, squeaked that out. Yeah, because you made a shortcut. So oh I yeah, just, you just, I just, just did it work. Yeah, I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I did, uh, and we finally killed it. Because um, it was it was huge and it didn't follow, mm -hmm. so that's fine. Um, Exploitation. Yeah, pretty much. So we had to record that Professor Warren Rice was kidnapped, that the experiment was defeated, and we got some XP, which we spent on upgrading shit. Now, we went to The House Always Wins. Uh, Dr. Armitage suggested you track down his associate, Dr. Francis Morgan. He's not sure whether Dr. Morgan is in trouble, but he's not particularly happy with his colleague's present choice of company. Is in the Clover Club, a notorious gambling joint somewhere downtown. Finding the club's exact location isn't easy. You have to grease a few palms just to learn which of the downtown restaurants operates as the club's front. Their restaurant is La Bella Luna, a somewhat up upscale Italian eatery by the theater. You change into your Sunday best and make your way there. In front of La Bella Luna stands a man in a pinstripe suit who sizes you up as you approach. Enjoy yourselves, he says with a snake-like grin as he holds open the restaurant's front door. So, at the start of the scenario, Agenda La Grant, each criminal enemy, the, each, Agenda 1, La, wow, Agenda 1A grants each criminal enemy the aloof keyword, which stops those enemies from automatically engaging you. At some point, those enemies may lose the aloof keyword. Remember that enemies who no longer aloof will automatically engage investigators at their location as normal. So, we start in La Bella Luna, which is was a multi-purpose establishment, um, so we can resign <laughs> if we want to. The music is cliche and they only serve spaghetti. As far as covers for underground uh, speakeasies go, it's not particularly creative. <laughs> in, in simple games, like card games and stuff like that, like flavor text is key. And this game has it in spades. So when you're, if you, like, if you're playing this game, read the flavor text because it will immerse you in the world even more. It's like, uh, can I? Get... What do you want? Spaghetti. <laughs> like that's all we got. Spaghetti. You have anything else? No, we got spaghetti. Can well, I have some? <laughs> we got spaghetti. <laughs> can I get some wine? We have spaghetti. <laughs> Gross. So beginner's luck. You need to find Dr. Morgan. The club is packed. Perhaps somebody knows where he is. When you reveal a chaos token, you may treat that token as if it were any other token in the chaos bag. If you do, remember that you cheated. Group limit once per round. Objective, when the investigators have collected the requisite number of clues, they may ask if immediately spend them in advance. We need eight. Eight clues. But we can cheat! We don't need to. We got Rex Murphy. That's true. The Clover Club. You have entered the Clover Club casino in search of Dr. Morgan. The club is bustling at this late hour, filled with patrons looking to relax and drink, or make it big. You don't appear to be in much danger. Each criminal enemy gains aloof. Forced, if an enemy deals damage to a criminal enemy, immediately advance. Alright, so we have uh, two clues there. All right. The Shroud <laughs> of Two. Um... Alrighty, so that seems to connect to oh, the Clover Club Lounge, and there's a boss over here, but he is a criminal, so he's aloof, so he's not going to engage with awesome us. Boss. Let's fuck him up. <laughs> Just walk in and axe him to death. Okay. Alright. Uh, do you want to go first? Um, I'm just gonna play some cards just to like kind of prepare myself. Okay. So. Um. So. Do you want to be lead investigator? I think I was lead last time. Sure, we'll just go okay. Nate. Okay. Um, so we're gonna, we're just gonna gear up, get ready, got a magnifying glass. Ooh. It's free. Cool. It's uh, one action. Yep, yep, yep. Um, so wait, fast, does that mean it's a not an That's action? That's not an action, oh, correct. so that was not an action. Sweet. Okay, um, I can just gonna... see you walking in and I'm like, don't do anything to embarrass me. So it's been... <laughs> you just have, is my eye big? <laughs> yes. Good. <laughs> that means progress. Okay, so... So, flashlight, so, you know, I'm going to go up to those gambling tables and be like, that's obviously an ace. 
Oh, I didn't know you could have five aces. Yep. <laughs> what? <laughs> you just get all these people murdered. Yep. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Um, and, um, yeah, I'm just gonna, we're just gonna go whole hog on this. Okay. Um, how many, do I, do I get to draw resources to start the first turn, or do you not? No, that's at the end. Okay. No, so it's been end. three, um, so it's my third, or my, actually, so second action. Um, yes. Disc is an amulet on my neck. So oh, okay. If an enemy spawns, I just go, boop, and he's gone. Just, boop. Is that, just a one-time use, or? Yep, I discard it. Oh, or okay. no, what's the little... Little circle. I think that means you tap it. Oh, and how do you untap them? Uh, it untaps at the uh, end. Oh. You ready? All. Oh of no, you? no! It says uh, discard the disc. Okay. Okay. Yeah, oh, oh yeah. The, the the swirl is like a trigger. Okay. Um, because my ability after you defeat an enemy, discover one clue at your location. Okay. Um, so and that's like a trigger. All right. Well, um, I've so those are two actions that was free. So now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna investigate. Okay. Um, so this is a shroud of two. Correct. Um, so I have a knowledge, a knowledge of four. Ah. I believe in you. So I, have no, I have knowledge of five with my magnifying glass. So okay. I'm just gonna go without using the flashlight right now. That's fair. You just need to get a two or higher. Yeah. What did this mean? Yep, good question. Actually, I just realized. Um, that's not that. That's not that. There it is. House always wins. Uh, that is minus two. No, wait. What is that? Oh. I don't know what that is. Tentacle face. It's a tentacle. Wait a minute. Is it red? No. What does that tentacle mean? Oh, wait a minute. Is it just not part of the scenario? I don't think it's part of the scenario. Okay, well, let's draw again. Yeah, because we should have these three uh, minus, minus one. one. Okay, I beat it by two, so I get two. Yay! Rex Murphy! <laughs> to the rescue! My cards are upside down. I always forget that card. Alright, so that was your turn? Mm -hmm. My turn. We're going to go ahead and play Emergency Cash, gain three resources. I'm going to spend them immediately to get my 32 Colt. Uh, <laughs> just in case like you never you know. Like you a little chant and then suddenly like guns appear in the jacket. <laughs> you never, or I'm like fucking Deadpool and have a duffel bag of just guns. <laughs> you never know when things are going to get dicey. Dude, they're, they're poking out of the bag. <laughs> we can, we, everyone can see them. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and queef. So let's go ahead and that is attached to this, that's you. I'm gonna go ahead and move to the Clover Club Lounge. Uh, comfortable leather couches, mahogany furniture, and an array of beautiful art greets gamblers tempting them into the life of the would-be affluent. All right, when it is act one, Clover Club Lounge gains, as an action, discard an ally asset from your hand, gain two clothes from the token pool. Uh, so, well, I do have an ally asset, but... So you discard an ally. Yep. To what? You get two clues from the token pool. <laughs> what's, the, what's the lore here? Does it say anything? Uh, I think you just. I think they're going in gambling. Oh, okay. It's kind of like because it's like it's enticing around. them. You're just like. Hey, what, hey, what? hey, you know I don't need you. You're off the hook tonight. You know, go have fun. Go, go have some fun, you, and then take my card, baby. Have your, yeah. have yourself a good time. Okay, so that was uh, all our turns. There's no enemies. Well, there's technically one, but he's not engaging. Uh. And then we do upkeep, ready all exhaust, flip man, we draw, we draw one card and get a resource. Um, oh, I have more weapons! <laughs> yeah, traveling with uh, Roland Banks is always a trip. Um, I mean, have you ever seen his trench coat? Just nothing but blades. Blades on one side, nothing, and rocket launchers and, and machine guns. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's very unsettling. I mean... It's always a far off look in his eye. Like he's never really looking at you. It's it's just he's seen some shit. Uh, we check hand size. We're not gonna have it. Got your underwear gun. Like, you keep it like right up against your. Well, no, it's more like an underwear massive sword. Oh, okay. <laughs> which I which I tell the ladies is my massive dick. So we put a doom on the agenda. We've got plus three to piercing damage. <laughs> and we draw one card from here. You draw one first, and I'll draw one. Who oh, knows? Cursed luck. Cursed Put luck. Put cursed luck into play in your threat area. You get minus one skill value during skill tests. 
After you succeed at a skill <clears> test <throat> by one or more, I get rid of it. Damn it! That should have been you! Oh, man. Oh, you got it too? I got the exact same one. Okay, well... Okay, well, then I don't feel as bad. Alright. But curse luck into play and use a get minus one skill value during skill test. Four steps to succeed a skill test by one or more. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and um, I'll go first. Dr. Millen, we know you work a lot. You work really hard. How about you go sit next to that beautiful lady in the red dress? And uh, not hopefully she's not a demon. And there we go. So I'm going to do that as an action. Um... Not really a whole lot. Can I talk to him? Uh, gains any number of clues. Clover Club pit boss readies, engages that invest. Oh, wait. Forrest, after an investigator at Clover Club pit, uh, pit bosses. Oh, that's him. Gains any number of clues. He readies, engages that investigator, and makes an immediate attack. Oh, good! When what? Did so I gain clues, and he immediately attacks me. Oh. Well. Still gonna do that? <laughs> yeah. Victory for Kelm? <laughs> Two damage. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? Boys! Yeah, shit, fuck. Just, I'm just imagining. They're like, cheating! Like, you flip the table and it's like, <laughs> <laughs> just, just like, <laughs> you get winged on the shoulder. <laughs> Fucking! <laughs> well, okay, so he, he, he yep, he readies and he. Well, goes. Rusty, looks like we have to either have, to have another jam. <laughs> oh boy, here I go killing again. <laughs> um, okay, so, yep. Good luck with that. Gains any number of clues, he readies, engages that investigator, and makes an immediate attack. So, and what happens here? What the fuck? Um, each criminal gains a loot. Wait, no, 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 no. How does that work? If he's aloof, then. He... But you found you found a clue. You found like shit on him. You found dirt. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out. And he saw you getting dirt on him. So. Yeah. But that's a conflict at the same time. You know, if they're aloof, then he doesn't care because we're not. We're just playing. You know, we're just gaming. But I see well, I mean, otherwise he wouldn't like he would instinctively attack you without aloof. Yeah. I mean, but then the force says he will. Yeah. So. So I don't know. I don't know which one triggers triggers first. Um, who stops right. enemy from automatically engaging you? At some point, those enemies may lose the aloof keyword. Must be. Remember, the enemies who are no longer aloof will automatically engage with you. Yeah. All right. It sounds like he's attacking. Well, fine. Fuck you, you bitch. Mm -hmm. Uh. Well, it's still my turn. So that was just something he had to do. Let's go ahead and. Um. Uh, okay, let's be a badass. And it's like, like fine, pulling shots. out my machete. It's like over here, like gunshots <laughs> in the adjoining room. <laughs> and then I just hear, shit! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Cut off the head of someone next to me. With a fucking machete from your fucking trench coat of holding. <laughs> So You're already like close to insane. So. Right. That's, I guess that's true. I'm just I'm very unhinged. All the shit I've seen. Yep. Uh. Well. So that like was. I'm gonna come in later. There's just gonna be blood everywhere. So that was my second. Uh. Fucking. I'm sorry. Third attack. Um. It 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 makes sense that I would attack anyone who would attack me at this point. Like. Like, all logic and, and, and you know, self-awareness is out the window whenever you've seen the things that I've seen. At this point, everyone's an enemy. So, give me the, give me the sack. The, uh, the cloth bag. Uh, so, I get plus one for this attack, but my cursed luck... Um, canceled it. Canceled it, but at least I still have four. Uh, whether I need to hit a three? I hit the three. Um, so... That is going to, if he's a, so he deals one damage, so that's two damage to him. I'll just wing it. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. <laughs> I'll just wing we can't it. stop him. So, uh, if an investigator deals damage to a criminal, automat immediately advance. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh wait, advance. I think you flip it. Yep. Your questioning has drawn the attention of several men, hired thugs by the look of them. Francis doesn't want to be bothered, one of them says. We suggest you leave the premises before we force you to leave. Shuffle the encounter discard pile. Well, we have nothing there. If the players have completed extra extracurricular activity, advance directly to Agenda 2B. Okay. So we're going to this one. Chaos in the Clover Club. Oh, good. It admits the chaos and confusion, the strange abominations attack everyone in the club. Screams <laughs> echo through the halls as the blood begins to spray. At the start of the enemy phase, discard each criminal enemy in the same location as an abomination enemy. Well, 
to know. Monsters are breaking through the window. Uh, I guess so, yep. Well, that escalated with Thanks. Me. Yes, it did. It's not my fault he attacked me. And he would have hunted me down. <laughs> You're looking across ways. So, I did that. Um, I equipped my machete, and then I attacked him. So those were my three things. Mm -hmm. It's your turn. All right. <clears throat> well. Uh, oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Um, I'm going to do my vicious blow, actually, and kill him. Because yeah, if the skill test is uh, successful during an attack, plus two damage, instead if it succeeds. So he's dead. Because he only has four health. Get the fuck off me, bitch. So I'll put him over here because we killed him. All right. Your turn. Okay, I'm just, I'm having fun envisioning this <laughs> battle where you wield a machete and he's obviously Tommy Gun wielding hordes of baddies. Just him. I'm just like... I'm imagining he's a pit boss. I'm imagining he has some thugs. He has some bros. No, I think he's one of those pit bosses that he likes to do it himself. Like, he's putting on brass knuckles and then he sees me like... You just whip out a machete a and chop his fucking arm off. <laughs> like, I'm the fed and he doesn't like the fed scooping around and I'm just like, what is all this shit? <laughs> And then he just doesn't even ask questions. I have, I, I, I'm enjoying the Navajo <laughs> scenario where you just like scream like, in his head and just ah. at the top of the table. I like cut his face off and wear it as my yeah, face. Yeah, but it's your face. <laughs> look in the mirror and make fun of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at me. I have a scar. <laughs> I'm ugly. Oh, well, it's your turn. All right. Let's, um, well, I guess I have to go in here. I'm like, oh, who made this mess? <laughs> oh, dear. You have any allies? I um, don't think I do. We use all, like, all my cards. Oh, yeah. Draw a card. Draw right. Did you draw one last time? No. You didn't draw at the end and gain a resource? I gained the resource, but I never drew a card. Oh, okay. So then draw your card. Well, I don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need eight clues. So, so no clues here? Just nope. The, oh, the nope, allies. Nope, that's are. what the allies are. So second action to Yeah, it connects, going it deeper. connects to all three. Uh, you can go to the bar or the car, uh, card room. You know, Rex, Rex Murphy's into cards. Is he? He wants to check out Is some he? cards. All right. I mean, so he's got he's got the he's got you know, shitty luck, but <laughs> he 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 he, he dabbles. Rex uh, enjoys enjoys playing his cards. Uh, you know, he, he's he's had a little little trouble in the past. You know, he's he's been working working with a group trying to get get past that. He just had a little relapse. Right. As you approach the card room, the clinking of poker chips and the shuffling of cards is punctuated by shouts of revelry and frustration. Your thoughts are nearly drowned out by the racket. Okay, well, it is Act 1, which it still is. Act. No, it's still, we're oh. in Agenda. It still is Act 1. Uh, Clo mm. Clover Club Room gains spend two resources, and you reveal a random chaos token. If it's the star symbol, you gain two clues and two resources. If it is an even number, you gain two clues from the token pool. If it is an odd number or anything else, nothing happens. And that's an action, so you should probably do that. Probably that is just... nothing. Huh? So that's all there is to it, so I just... Yep, there's no shroud, but you can gamble. Oh boy, gambling. What do you think? We're in a casino. <laughs> I don't want to gamble. I want to, I want to, I want to search. <laughs> They're going to say I want to I kill. I should look through my, <laughs> my, my, my magnifying glass. No, All right, no. well, since I'm here, um, so it's two to move. Can everyone still see that? I hope you Spend can. Spend two resources. Oh, well, I need two resources. Um, Oh, okay. And so I would have to use another action to gain a resource. That's true. So I think I'm just going to... Is this connected here? No, uh, then I'll just reveal them both. So, yes, that is connected. Okay. All right. Uh, the shelves behind the bar sag beneath the weight of all manner of bootleg drinks. Cheap ales, moonshine, expensive bottles of wine, aged whiskey. If only you had a couple hours to kill. While it is Act 1, Clover Club Bar gains. Spend two resources, gain two clues from the token pool, and draw two cards. Remember that you have had a drink. <coughs> Interesting. Woo Interesting. Yep, there's going to be no searching, gambling, and drinking. That's all you're going to be able to do. Uh, I looked at the entrance, though. I gave it a good one. So <laughs> <laughs> hmm, this seems to be a drug den. Or a gambling hall. Uh, well, that was your turn. I got me some spaghetti. I'm like, there. <laughs> obviously the spaghetti is subpar. And oh, then, uh, I'm no longer. Then first. I put in a scathing Yelp review. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot Yelp is a tool for dumb people. <laughs> uh, so my curse luck is gone. Uh, then we ready all actions enough to ready anything. Uh, we draw a card. Uh, oh, sorry. We we yeah draw a card and a resource. So ah, that's gonna be fun. Okay. Um, and then now we go to the chaos phase, we put a Mythos token. 
I, I honestly have no idea what happens if we if we fail this. I did not expect it to go this quick. <laughs> I just walk in. I'm like, okay, Rex, just st stop searching. Like, I'll, I'll handle this. <laughs> just, just ran in. <laughs> like, cut, cut down some guy. Um, okay, well, I'll take the first one. You can have the next one. Something in the drinks. Surge. Each player who has had a drink loses one action. None of us. All right. Curse luck. Well, I have curse. I have bad luck again. <laughs> Damn it. All right. You got so an enemy. He's not an elite. I could just wipe him with my ancient disc. That is true. Um, he only has two hit points, though. Um, you can do that. He's not gonna attack. How, how do I deal damage? What, you what? well with weapons. <laughs> so if I have no weapons, what could I do? Uh, I think you can punch them. I can punch them. Yeah. With my whole two. Yeah. Well, um, you know, the whole point of the disc is that I can do this, so... WONG! Is he just dead? <laughs> Ancient magic! Discard him. Alright, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Like, I thought I would be using that on monsters, but I did not. I used it on might. monsters. You might. Alright, so now it is our turn. What do you want to do? What do I want to do? But now we know that they're putting drugs and shit in drinks. Because did you not read what I got? No. What? Something in the drinks. Each player who has had a drink loses one action. Well, you're drinking. You know, you're, you're forever. Well, just and whenever that happens, whenever it's revealed. Oh. So, cool. but no one, you didn't, no one drank yet. So don't drink. Yeah, pretty much. But you can do it to oh. uh, gain two clues. Which we need, so... So I can just get drunk, get drunk over here. Rex, you know, Rex, like, Rex Murphy, he's, he seems like he's, an alcoholic. He's a troubled fellow, <laughs> you know, he's seen some shit. He'll, he's gonna, he's gonna take a drink. I right. saw this chick over here get roofied and drunk, <laughs> drunk away, he's like, well, obviously they're safe now. <laughs> they got the roofie. You used all the drugs on her. I'm not attractive enough, never mind. <laughs> there you go. Whoops. So, how many clues did we need? Eight? We need uh, eight. Okay. We're at six now. Yeah, so... That was that was an action to do that. Yep. Um, then I guess I will... Um, I'm gonna go play some cards. I guess the only other thing... Like, well, oh, uh, so that was just one action, right? Yep. So I can just use actions to gain resources, right? Yep. And so, draw one card or gain one resource. So we'll just gain two resources. Cool. So apparently those are pivotal here. Cool. I'm gonna go to the card room, because I hear the shuffling and chinking. I'm like, that sounds like right up my alley. So, uh, yeah. Spend two resources. Eh. To reveal a random thing. Ah! Oh, well, I failed. <laughs> well, <laughs> Spend two more resources. Ha! Ah! Uh, it is an even number, Three. so I gained two clues. Three. Which now we spend them immediately. That's eight. <laughs> All right. After speaking to a number of gamblers and servers, it seems as though after murdering one man, and <laughs> everyone's just like, <laughs> like you're still coding the blood. <laughs> they don't want to fuck with you. <laughs> Where is he? Uh, it seems as though Dr. Morgan has had quite the run lately. Instead of cashing out his winnings, he was convinced to double down. He was last seen entering the guarded hall near the back of the card room. Put the set-aside darkened hall into play. Darkened <laughs> hall. Um, so now... We'll put that there. Um, can everyone see that? Good. Uh, if it is Agenda 1, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a criminal enemy is discarded and spawn... Well, it's not Agenda 1, so... <laughs> so that is that. Now we are on... Skin game. The first one was beginner's luck. Dr. Morgan is somewhere in the private section of the club where only VIPs and the club managers are allowed. If you are to find him, you're going to have to sneak or even fight your way in. Only investigators in the VIP area may spend the requisite number of clues as a group to advance. We need four clues. Okay. So, Easy. that was... We'll get, we'll get clues. That was my turn. Yeah, so I moved and then I gambled twice and I lost all my, all my money. <laughs> Yep. Um, okay, so you, you have no enemies, so they're not doing anything. Uh, reset actions, ready, gain a resource. And draw a card. Draw a card. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. shit. Uh, then place a doom on the agenda. Okay. Uh, 
then get one of these and one of those. Spawn swarm of rats. Well, oh no. <laughs> they really need to clean up in here. <laughs> Nasty ass fucking gambling hall. So reveal a random token from. Oh, revelation. Reveal a random token from the chaos bag. If you reveal a star symbol or positive number, nothing happens. If you reveal any of any other number, take one damage. If you reveal the symbols, bad stuff happens. All right, cool. Club, okay. or club pit boss. <laughs> I'm gonna just fucking slaughter them. Yep. And um, have you slaughtered a guy? And negative. Fuck. Okay, so that means I take a damage. One damage. Yep. You 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 kill, you slaughtered a guy <laughs> with a machete, and the guy yeah, tried yeah, to. Yeah. Guy comes at me, he's like, whoa, I'm a thug, I'm taking your money, and then I just grab my amulet, and he disappears, and he disappears <laughs> from this plane. He just, <laughs> he just, like, turns to ash and just disintegrates. <laughs> hmm. You know, maybe we're the bad guys at this point. Just, just, it's, we, we just walked into a, a place of, of business and ransacked the place. <laughs> <laughs> At, at that point, you're yeah, you're even more like, twisted than I am. All right, so that was that. Peer around the room, push up my glasses. <laughs> oh my watch. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's just have me go first. Um, I'll attack the swarm of rats. We hand me the bag, please. I I literally just have Get to be a one. On. I got a minus one, so um, that negates, and I'm at three. I I kill it. <laughs> Like it was a swarm of rats. Uh, then I will take one action to get a resource, and my third action I will spend the resource. Hey, zero. So that's a that's not an even or an odd. What? It just says if it's an even number, gain two clues. If it's an odd number, nothing happens. Zero is not even or odd. We'll say even. Yep, <laughs> that's what I'm gonna say. Um. So, two clues. Alright, that was my turn. Alright. Still, still gambling. So, yeah, I mean, I guess I'll keep drinking? Or is that, can you only do it once? Uh, limit once per game, yep. Oh, you did have a drink? Yes. Okay, uh, we'll just remember that you had a drink. I had a drink. Okay. I am tipsy. Feel pretty good. You can move here and gamble with me. Alright, I guess we'll keep gambling. I'm just like, hey, buddy. You're like, hey. It's either drop off your allies or gamble or drink. Do you have any right. allies? I do not. Okay. Oh, well. All right, let's gamble. All right, spend two resources, draw from the bag. Oh, boy. Something tells me you're not very lucky. <laughs> this is the curse. <laughs> Negative three. Well, it's an odd number, so nothing happens. Okay. Something tells me you're not very lucky. So you move. Wait, hit me. You move. You can gain a resource to be even if you wanted to. You still have one action left. Okay. So that was that was our turns. Um. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, nothing. Uh, gain a resource. Draw a card. And then one of these. <clears throat> and one of those. Come on, bitch. Another swarm of rats. Swarm of rats. <laughs> no, this fucking nasty ass you're card room. Like you're trying to play cards. <laughs> just, just like rats. <laughs> I'm just hacking them up with my machete. Oh god. Oh god. All right, so that was that. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll go. I'm gonna do the same thing. Hand me that. What does that mean, go? Just because I have the two clues. If I can get it, I can move there mm -hmm. to the VIP. Um, minus one. I I kill them again. <laughs> It's not even like, you ever see the episode of Family, not Family Guy, American Dad, where Haley sings in Roger's bar, mm -hmm. and like, like he's like crawling through the vents and he sees the dancing rats, Oh. and then like he's like watching her sing and he's just like smashes them, <laughs> that's me at the table, I'm just like, I'm just like, mm, mm, <laughs> just cut them in half. Uh, that was a long statement for a not really that funny joke. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. You, so, you stabbed him, man. You know, you, you put work into it. Right, you know. so I'm going to second action, gain the... Right. And then spend them. I, so I don't know why I handed that back I, to you. Well, I gotta step on some rats, I guess, because I don't have a fist or a blade or anything. Oh, hey! I got a uh, an even number, so... Two clues. Okay. Okay, so I got the four clues. 
Oh, I'm good. So I can start heading that way. Uh, I Is it per investigator? It was, for this, <clears throat> only investigators in the VIP area may spend the requisite number of clues as a group to advance. So, um, I have four. I can go, I'm assuming this is a VIP area. A heavy oak door stands in a secluded corner of the club. As you approach it, the air grows heavy and the clamor of the card room fades behind you. So I'm assuming that's where the VIP section is, but that, that was my whole turn. Okay, well, um, I'm going to step on some rats. Okay. So do an attack. Actually. Yeah, is there even an unarmed attack? I believe so. there should be. I mean, I have like two like well, base attack. I mean, those just deal one damage if you don't I have a weapon. I think so. Um... Uh, oh, fight. Well, uh, result in tanks by making the combat test against the enemy's fight value. Um, then what for everyone you beat the down. default damage dealt by an attack is one. Okay, so I mean, gonna, think you can fight on all. give him some toe tap a good miss <laughs> with my my two to his one. The the, the rats came out ahead. Yep. All right. I'm, I'm drawing good today. Oh, I guess I got my. You can keep trying to kill him. Uh, that was one action, so we're gonna have a we're gonna battle some more rats. Here it comes and uh, the ultimate fail. <laughs> All right, just, just you're just like just like running around <laughs> the fucking <laughs> card room. Yep. Ah! yep, that's yep. And a minus one, so it's a one to one. You kill him. All right. Yeah. Took three tries. Yeah, I did. Uh, I don't remember because usually I succeed because I. Oh right! Oh right! Wait! Wait! During the skill. To oh. oh yeah! Oh shit! So you actually failed again. I failed again. Yes, <laughs> that is exactly it. I failed three times. I'm trying to think. Do they? When you attack, they don't attack back, do they? I don't. Fight! 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 I think it it only activated when it was. Like no damage is dealt. However, if you fail to test against the enemy, engage the damage of the attack is dealt to the inve Oh, if I, uh, wow! You were hitting me. <laughs> What? However, an investigator fails this test against an enemy that is engaged with another... Si oh, no, 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 if you were helping me. Mm. I was like, what? Um, it doesn't say anything <clears throat> about damage. You can only attack, like, on the... I think so, too. Mythos. That'd be pretty fucking broken. So, that was your entire turn, just not killing enough rats. I just machete them all. Uh, you want to machete my rats for me? They're going to attack you. Oh. One damage? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to laugh if they fucking kill you. You want to machete these rats for me, buddy? Uh, I can. Buddy friend. So, gain your resource and draw a card. Ooh. Oh, that's right. It's if you do anything other than attack them, then they attack you. Because mm. it's the attacks of opportunity. Okay. Uh, so that was that. We had a doom to the mythos. Okay. And then, did you draw your card? I did. Okay. And did you gain your resource? I you threw me one. Okay, did I? I don't remember. So I did a doom. Um, we have this. Oh, shut up. And that. Arousing suspicion. Place one doom on each criminal enemy at your location. If no doom was placed by this effect, lose two resources. Oh, fuck you, bitch. Just both of us? No, just me. Your, your card's right there. That was arousing suspicion. Um, hunted down. <laughs> If there are no unengaged um, criminal enemies in play, hunted down against surge. If there are one or more engaged criminal enemies, to them moves one location towards you. So and there are. Deck. So there are no engaged. So it says surge. So that means you draw another one. Eh. What is that? Oh yeah. And it's another mobster. Man, they just fucking hate you. Oh you man. You think they'd be coming after me because I killed oh, their boss? Oh dang it. Maybe I owe them some money. Oh, All right, uh, let me go first. Um, here, I'm gonna pull that mobster towards me. Neat. Thanks. Be like, hey, motherfucker, kill your boss. Yep. He's like, what? Well, it's, it's about time for good old Rex Mur Murphy. Uh, you know, here I, I here I am, and then <laughs> I'm, I'm, Bye. I'm, I'm, I'm not there anymore. Uh, so I'm gonna use my my Colt. Um, we hand me the bag, please. So I need to beat. Say hello to my Say little hello friend. Say hello to little erection. And ba bam! That is a zero. Uh, so I'm at a three. Uh, so I definitely I got rid of my curse just luck. Head shot him. And it does plus one damage. So yeah, I just shot him in the fucking <laughs> head. 
Thanks, buddy. <laughs> hey, pull, hold up the mobster's head. Does the guy look familiar? <laughs> the pit bosses, and he's like, ah! Yeah. And then I hold my guns, like, upside down, shoot with my pinkies. Yeah, like, of course like, you what was his name? fucking would. <laughs> Kid <laughs> dad. Yeah. <laughs> you fucking weeb. Oh so, yeah, I know. I, I come on, that was fucking cool. What? The, Kid death. What, the upside down guns? Dude, it's awesome! That's obnoxious! That's so cool! That was unnecessary! That was so awesome! He was my favorite! <laughs> Everyone else, Blackstar was fucking annoying, and, and uh, Friendship No Jutsu, pretty much, at the no end. Jutsu. Oh, right. yeah, uh, yeah. Clover, uh, Forest, when Darkness Hall is revealed, put into play the three set-aside back hall doorways. Uh, the door slams shut behind you and you stand in sudden silence. This area of the club is lonesome and devoid of warmth and color. Somehow the spotless floor and walls seem more sinister than inviting. Oh, he's he like has that OT, o OCD. That's why you like him. What? He's oh. like, he has OCD. <laughs> like, oh, like, oh, what the fuck? Is oh, right, because that's like, like every single one of your D&D &D characters. <laughs> Oh, I gotta watch my I may have autism. I, I, think, I think, do you just in, want to emulate the autistic? Is that, like, in your heart of hearts, you wish that that's you were who autistic? I, that's who I am. Yep, you're right. You're right, that's who I am. Um, well, Seth, he identifies as an autistic. Thusly, he's an autistic. That's funny. No, I liked him because uh, he was funny, and he was the coolest. I could not stand Blackstar. No, I got I got uh, so we'll kind of spread these out. So these back door hallways. Um, that was my turn. I pulled him to you, attacked, shot him in the face, and then moved to the back. Okay. Okay. So is it now I'm assuming there's a VIP room in here, and that's when I can advance that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your turn. Okay. Um. Yep. So we're done gambling, right? Yes. So now you can start going this way. Like. <laughs> Back door. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, you have the you have the rats. I do. I mean, you could evade and just take the damage just and leave them there. I don't think they have hunter. Yes, they do. Yep, they sure oh do. wait, retaliate was a thing. I don't I don't remember. Retaliate is eighteen. Um, you saw an investigator fails a skill test after they're ready to the attack. For okay, so I, I didn't fail. So I we'll use it. we'll use magnifying's quick action to just bounce back to my hand. Okay. So you're gonna take a damage. Really? It's, just, it's a quick action. Is that not? Fast. It's not an action because it's the lightning bolt. Oh, you're right. It's fast. There are no clues. To return magnifying glass to your hand. So, uh, would, oh, would, would yeah. equipping a weapon? That would. Yes. So then that's that gonna... would cost an action, and you would take a damage. I mean, you know what? You have better chances of killing them though. So it's either you don't do it. And you take the damage because you fail to kill. Why them. am I so mediocre? <laughs> <laughs> most most nerds are like I just have you around to. Ah, I'm essentially I said this in an interview in the last uh, one is I'm essentially your bodyguard. Yeah, that's great. <clears throat> and a minus three. <laughs> we failed the attack. That's great. So, so that was, was so that was quick. Play that for one. Attack for two. Yep. That goes back. Oh, I'm so bad at drawing these today. Do you remove yeah, the normally they're pretty good. I don't think the good ones fall into the corner here. Let's. They let's, might have. Yeah, let's try that. Let's I mean, I'm drawing pretty good. Zero. There you go. Right. There you go. So that puts me at a two. I beat him by one. Curse luck gets yep. to go away. And I stab all and the you rats. Kill all the rats. All right. Thank you. Fuck. Oh God, this fucking bite wounds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to fester. Yeah, you're like, I don't feel good. <laughs> Nose bleed. So that was your entire turn, right? Yep. All right. Uh, so no enemies are engaged. Uh, we draw a resource and draw a card. Uh, well, paranoia. Uh, revelation. Discard all your resources. I don't. Oh, know. Well, okay. <laughs> you hand me a revelation. Did I? Did oh, I? oh no. Is that? Are we playing those now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're at the top of the. Oh boy. Oh my God! Sorry. Obanion oh, thug. I am not near you for that. Engage with it, you cannot gain resources. Are we going to have a problem here? All right. Well, I think that constitutes a a, a dippin, a dippin. Uh, yeah, I think so. Does he have hunter? He has human criminal syndicate. No hunter. So he's okay. just stick While around. While Abania was a say thug and is engaged with you, you cannot oh, gain resources. Mm -hmm. I see. All right. Well, let's go ahead and have have me go. I need to find this VIP. So, um, which one do you think? That one, that one, or that one? Mm. Which one do you think is... Lefty! 
This one? Yep. Okay. Uh, I think he's all. You approach an unmarked door towards the back of the Clover Club. Art gallery. Damn. Four, so after you fail a skill test while investigating the art gallery, lose two resources. Exotic art antiques adorn the walls of Peter Clover's private gallery. An evening breeze rustles the worn pages of a ledger back. Floor. So that's going to have two clues there, though. Um, so that was one. Uh, this is a tad. Oh, so I have to go back to the Darken Hall. Two. I'm going to go with the middle. That was my instinct, anyway. VIP area! Fuck, I shouldn't listen shouldn't to you. Listen while you're in the VIP area, you cannot draw cards or gain resources during the upkeep phase. That blows! The coppery smell of blood assaults your senses. The floor is littered with broken glass and the upholstery has been torn to shreds. Where is Dr. Morgan? Okay, so uh, that has two clues there. And since I'm in the VIP area, I'm going to spend four to do the skin game. If the players have not, okay, if we have completed extra, extracurricular activity, the VIP rooms are filled with the mangled and bloody bodies of, an, of unfortunate patrons. There doesn't appear to be any trace of Dr. Morgan. You hear screaming and gunfire from the main area of the club. Put the set-aside Peter Clover into play in the Clover Club bar. Peter Clover. Okay. Um, search the encounter deck or out of play for an abomination enemy and spawn it in the Clover Club bar. So, for an abomination, I don't think, I don't think there are any in here yet. There is not, so, um, <clears throat> where, where, oh, here we go. Did it not say to shuffle them in? It did not. Um, it said if there was any at that point. Well, I mean, like, when, I remember it said, like, you heard glass breaking and, and, Oh, yeah, right now I'm doing a, it. Just, there wasn't one in here, so it said out of play. So here's an abomination. Uh, Prey has the lowest uh, lowest will. What's your will at? Three. I'm also there. Hunter, after you perform an attack against the conglomerate of spheres using a melee card, discard... Oh, what the fuck is that? What? That's, what, that's the abomination. Nice. That's hot. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay. Fucking black pudding up in here. So he's... Okay. Well, six health. Um, I might be able to. Uh, well, we'll see. Uh, and spawn in the Clover Club bar. So that's where that is. And Forrest, after you perform an attack against. Oh wait, no, it's him. For at the start of an enemy phase, if no investigator controls Peter Clover, deal one damage to him. Um, exhaust Peter Clover automatically evade a criminal enemy in your location. So we advance to 3A, which is, we go to 3A fold. Free drinks for whoever gets me the hell out of here, a man exclaims from the bar. While Peter Clover is not controlled by a player, he gains parlay. Test will 3 to convince Peter to follow you. If you succeed, place one clue from the token bank on him. If there are one uh, per investigators, uh, clue on Peter Clover, take control of him. So we need to convince him twice. If each undefeated investigator has resigned, advance. Um, if each has resigned, so I guess after we, we after we get him, we would leave. Okay. Right. Okay. So that was uh, one, two, three. Yep. Yeah, so that was my turn. Okay. Is it? Is it my turn? I believe so. Okay. Yeah, I think I went first because I, I wanted to spend the clues. Gotcha. All right, well, we're going to zip on. We're going to duck on out. Boop. Shortcut, baby. <laughs> hey. Oh, yeah, Boop. it's fast. <laughs> <laughs> so so stay. I'm up here. <laughs> okay, uh, so that'll disengage from you. Um, so he'll stay there. Okay. Where do you go? Hey, I'm walking here. That's exactly what I did. Cool. <clears throat> All right. Well, let's work on this. Um, the melee weapon. Well, I can shoot the shit out of him. Let's sacrifice the knife and go for the mega stab. All right. That seems pretty easy. It seems easy right. to hit him. Okay. Oh yeah, he's just a one. Yeah. So yeah. And you're no longer. And this gives me a three. So. Oh, gives him, oh this is a four. So you got a four. four yeah. All right. Just don't get a minus four. Hey, that what's your ability say? Success. Um, plus two. Uh, you may instead choose to fail and draw three cards. 
It's up to you. Well, it's two damage, so yeah, I'll go ahead. I'm gonna keep the success and just stab the shit out of the monster so it takes two damage. Okay. And I lose my knife. Hey, doing something. <laughs> it's there Rex right. Murphy, knife <laughs> thrower <laughs> extraordinary. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with us? Like, we don't use really guns. We just ran in here and just, <laughs> just slaughtered people. Good Navajos up in here. Alrighty, so that was, you moved, and then you attacked. You have one more action. Alright, so then... Uh, you can try and parlay him. Uh, while there's a giant slime in the room? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. I mean, he hasn't engaged me yet, but... Yeah, so what's going to happen is, um... He only has three health. Yeah. Ugh! I need to get there. Mm. Where am I? Um, is there any clues in that room? There are not. Because the clue... That was the bar. The clue would be stupendous. That was, that was uh, the drinking. Yeah. Um... Well, um... Uh, oh, badass. Okay. We'll just use that fast. Just to, it's fast. Okay. Ugh. Well, um, since I can't really... So it doesn't engage, does it engage with me automatically? It will, yes. Okay, so it's mine now. Um, yeah, because you're its prey. Gotcha. Alright. <laughs> oh, man. God, that's that sucks, dude. What? It just sucks that he's engaged to you. Oh, did you want him engaged with you? Uh, no, I just wanted him to just be there. Oh, okay. Um, well, should have got some clues before I started this business. Um, so if I duck around, so I can, so if I draw a card. Hmm. Oh, I can't even use that anyway. Because I have. Oh, wait, now I'll draw shit while Well, I'm I'll just do a basic attack. All right. Swing at him with my old Rex Murphy fist. Uh, you've been working out. You've yeah, been hanging you know, out with me. I do these You know, I, my, my mustache is so pointed right now. <laughs> it actually... Does it, like, get erect whenever yeah, you're... Yeah, okay. Like, it just... It's, like, eight feet long. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, sharp it to a fine edge. I just... And we do zero to one. his one. All right. It was a dramatic fail. <laughs> well, I mean, what did we expect? You know? So, that was that. Put him up. <laughs> I mean, I, I didn't expect you to really do anything. So, I don't draw cards or shit while I'm in the VIP area. Okay. You do, though. So, you get your thing and draw your card. Oh, wait, enemy phase. Sorry, he's going first. He does one damage and one horror to you. Ouch. So, one, what did you say? One damage and one horror. Ow. At least it's weak. Yeah, he's just there. Actually, I'm just going to turn into the leaves, so. Um, yeah. Oh, right. I don't have very many hit points. You do not. <laughs> okay. Then we... Got cocky after I blinked. Two, two, three, four. Blinked the one guy out of existence. Five. Right. You, yeah, you kind of you did. Okay. Um, yeah, we should probably take control of him. I don't know what happens if we just fail. Uh, I don't know this is active again. Yep, yep, they're active. Um, you can move on over there and quickly that's, enter. That's the plan. That is the plan. Okay. Uh, so that was that. Then we draw a card. I'll take this one. You can take that one. Place one doom on these criminal in enemies. The drinks. There are no enemies. Oh, um. Drink loses one action. I don't have any. Okay. What? Oh, you did take a drink, so you lose yep. an action. <laughs> Lost an action. Oh, oh man, it's starting to feel... And surge. Huh? It's surge. Yep. God. And hunch it down. No one engaged criminal enemies. Hunch it down, gain surge. They're... Oh, wait. They, they are criminal. So he's coming on up to hang out with me. Hey, buddy. I think you're dying. <laughs> no, no. I'm, 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 we, we, yeah, no so we're going to be okay. And then does he immediately attack? I don't know. So one location towards you, if an enemy that engages you as a result of this effect makes an immediate attack. Okay. So now I take two damage and I die. You died. I died. Yep. You died. I died. He came in. He was like, <laughs> he was like, fuck the abomination. This Rex Murphy motherfucker over here. Well, it looks like time ran out for old Rex Murphy. Well, bye. So those <laughs> come off you. <laughs> oh boy, permanent damage. 
Uh, oh, yep, that is true. Um, so they're going to disengage there. That's kind of okay. Um, because now it is uh, my turn. And I'm going to move here. Shortcut. And I'm going to... Uh, uh, I can't do it. Cause Dynamite. I, I was going to, but I don't have any resources. Oh, I dropped these. Oh, no. I'd have to go in there and to pick them up and they'd all engage. Through my blink belt. The problem is, it's like they both... Oh, he doesn't... Okay, so I could probably... Um, um, you know what? I'm just going to gain two resources. I'm going to start gathering so I can just fucking do that. Even though they're going to move... Well, he's not going to move. He'll move towards me. Uh, boom! So, I forgot. Peter Clover takes the damage. Then it is their turn. He has Hunter and Prey. He's going to move here and engage with me. Then he will attack. One each. Dude, I think we both may fail this. Yeah. Because I, I am insane. Unless I can do... Unless... Well, I, I could kill him on my turn. I could kill him. And you can always scoot on out with shortcut. That is true. But I will try to kill him. So, uh, that was the end of that turn. I'm going to gain a resource and draw a card. Oh, hey! Aw. That seems, that seems pretty good as well. Okay, so then there's this. Whoops! Twist of Fate. Reveal a random token from the Chaos Bag. Give that to me, brother. Oh, hey! Okay. Uh, nothing happens. Oh. Good. Oh. <laughs> oh, I wanted you to lose. That's what a neat thing to happen. Okay. So. Okay. Well, it's uh, all up to me now. The mentally unstable fed that runs into a casino with a machete and hacks people up. All up to me. So is it horror or like permanent health damage? It'll be permanent health, oh, um, that's good. because that's how you died, yeah. was health. Um, I just don't remember how much it is, I'll have to, I think it's just one. Yeah. Okay, uh, so, so, uh, I could do that, okay. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, if I do one, two, it'd be enough to do that. Might take a little bit, but I think I can do it. Hmm. Well, he's pretty. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, dynamite is yep, I'm gonna use that to come up here. Um, so he disengages with me, and then that was no action. I'm going to spend my gun to attack him, and I have that please. myself. Ooh, oh, yep, I failed that. Uh, so I will spend another one to, eh, let's see. Ah, fucker. Two L. Jeez, ice his bitch ass. Well, I did after I failed. I just ran in, I just winged, and I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> so he's dead. Uh, I think I can actually pick up your stuff, like your, your resources. There's two. I, huh? put, I already put did it back. There's two, though. Um, you might maybe find us too. Might well, look, you, look up what happens whenever you die. Um, I'll set those off to the side in case I can't do that. So that was a wing. It was an attack. Another attack. And now I can try and talk to him. So. Uh, minus one. Kill the uh, slash insane investigator. Kill me. I think it's on the campaign. Oh, I failed. Fucker. I'm not the person to wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can spend something. I'm going to spend guts, actually, to get to, and then it was a minus one, so I get to place a clue on him. Okay. So that was that. He's hunting me. Comes back. And then he'll attack. Jesus, I need to, uh... I need to... Okay. Um, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I may have to rethink my turn. I didn't realize I was that low. 
on sanity. Um, because I think he moves towards the... Oh, no, 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 he disengaged, so actually he would become ready. He would not come to me yet. Good. Good thing I remembered that. Okay. Um, move to a connecting location. Yeah, you know this town, like the back of your hand. Okay. So, he would just ready. That gets readied. I get a resource. And... Oh, shit, I forgot about that. Oh, so... One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll draw one. So they're going to engage with me. This is fine. This is... Don't worry, I am okay. This is weird, I know. Um, one, two, three, four. Five, six. You can't like, like, it just says, you know, when you die. It doesn't say, like... It doesn't say, like, whenever you die, you drop. Yeah, Anything? Just, no. This is stupid. But I'm going to eliminate my machete. Okay. A player is eliminated from a scenario any time his or her is Plus one. Killed him. Where he controls in play and all the cards in his or her out of play areas are removed from the game. What's that? Out of play areas. <sighs> Part of the player okay. Okay. I need to try and. Oh yeah, all my clue tokens are placed in that location. So I can take them. Uh, well, clues. Um, oh yeah. You didn't have any. Resource tokens are returned to the token pool. Damn it. So, okay. Yeah. Um. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Never mind. That's that's fine. I'm gonna spend all of mine to throw my dynamite into the other room. <laughs> Fucking blow this shit up. Unfortunately, it doesn't kill him. It's close though. If you had done one more damage, you would have died. But that's fine. Uh, I tried. I need to. Um, I'm gonna try and parlay with him. Spend. You just, you just like run in there, like throw dynamite through the door. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> like, so, bro. <laughs> All right. I think I killed him. Uh, well, you still have like his. his his friend's like blood <laughs> I got a I got a plus one. I actually take control of him. He gets charm on him. Okay. <laughs> oh, uh then Well I'm like, dude, come with me because I just blew that thing oh, up. Me for the leaves. <laughs> That's pretty much Do it. The um Alright, so uh, I have... Arnold Schwarzenegger has okay, hold on, hold on. I'm probably not going to do that, actually, because I need... Matt Damon as Rex Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to basically change everything up. I'm not doing that, because I need to get out of here, otherwise that's going to trigger. So, technically still have my five resources. Um, and I use my machete to kill that guy. But what I'm going to do is, because um, he was engaged to me, I'm going to... So wait, 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 what happened? Here's what I'm doing. Because I need to get him, so I'm, go I'm going to try and talk to him while I'm fighting off this guy. Well, uh, where did the guy come from? Oh, it was, it was, a, uh -huh. it was a draw. So I'm going to take the two damage because it's an attack of opportunity. Gotcha. Um, but I succeeded at the convincing, so I'm going to exhaust him to disengage automatically uh, a criminal enemy. He's a criminal enemy. So I'm not going to blow this shit up. Uh, and I have... Um, uh, that was one action to try and convince him, so I'm going to then book it out of here. So moving here uh, to the Clover Club Lounge is one, and then two, and then I will resign... Uh, which is what I needed to do, to... You make your way towards the rain-slick streets of Arkham. If the investigator resigned with Peter Clover under his or her control, we go to R3. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Although you were unable oh, to... Oh, you didn't kill the thing. No, it, fuck it, I didn't need to. <laughs> oh, it didn't have any big points. No, it didn't. Okay. But for killing that pit boss, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> That's true. Although you were unable to find Dr. Morgan in the club, the man you rescued is grateful for your help. He introduces himself as Peter Clover, the owner of the establishment you just left. Despite the situation, he maintains an air of quiet professionalism. 
As you make your way towards the street, a well-polished Chrysler B70 rolls up to you, and a gorgeous woman with long brown hair and narrow eyes exits. She is flanked by dangerous-looking men who slips their hands under their suit jackets when they see you. Peter, she says with a sigh of relief, good, you're okay. I heard there was trouble. She turns and glares at you with deadly eyes. Who are they? Mr. Clover dusts off his vest, <laughs> unworried. Did you carry me? Like, oh, you're, <laughs> <laughs> you're just, uh. Um, dusts off his vest, unworried. Naomi, my dear, these are friends of mine. They, <clears throat> he clears his throat. They escorted oh. me off the premises. Uh, he explains after a short pause. They have earned our gratitude. The woman crosses her arms and takes, com takes a moment to size you up before giving you a smirk. Very well, then. I must thank you for taking care of Peter. Run along now. We'll handle things from here. I'm forgetting the accent. They earned our gratitude. <laughs> <laughs> they jumped over. <laughs> she, she nods to the goons flanking her, and they walk past you towards the club's rear entrance, pulling firearms out from underneath their coats. Unless they're an Irish gang. That's true. Like, you're not sure what handling things means, but you're pretty sure you don't want to be here when the gunfire starts. I think I do. You think Naomi and Peter and head off. Alrighty. In your campaign log, uh, record that Naomi has the investigators' backs. Alrighty. Cool. Naomi has the investigators. Backs. Oh, give me my backpack. I need that to stand. <laughs> I need it to not die. Uh, in your campaign long, record that Dr. Francis Morgan was kidnapped. Who's going getting kidnapped? Dr. And record the rest of the has broken ribs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he's dead. Morgan was kidnapped. Um. If any player cheated, uh, we did not. Add one, we would have gotten a, uh, let me see that. Let me see that, that token. I just need to see what it looks like. We would have added that to the bag if we cheated. Oh, cool. Which we did. Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory point value of each card in the victory display. One, two, three. We get three XP. So that puts me at three and you at five. Awesome. Sweet. Um, and proceed to interlude one, Armitage's fate. Um, check campaign log. If investigators were unconscious, oh wait, uh, for several hours. Okay, we did not. I think we just go to this and then we start doing the other stuff. Um, because there's not, nothing to set up or anything. So, uh, uh, I'll read that right now. So we did that. Um, if investigators were unconscious, we were not unconscious for, nope. When you arrive at Dr. Armitage's home, who's Dr. Armitage? Who was the guy oh, that's was the guy that hired us, right? Henry guy. Armitage, yep. When you arrive at Dr. Armitage's home in Southside, you find him sitting at his desk, pale faced and sweating with worry. He is grateful to you for searching for his colleagues, but he doesn't look relieved. With a long pause, he straightens his glasses and explains, I'm afraid I must apologize. There's something I didn't mention to you earlier. Dr. Armitage then spins a tale you would scarcely believe had it not been for your harrowing experiences earlier that night. In your campaign log, record that the investigators, uh, are we supposed to do something? Um, like, I don't think I have an uh, Armitage's fate unless I'm skipping. Nope, it goes to the Miskatonic Museum, yep. Alright, well. When you arrive, uh, yep, I must apologize, there's something I didn't mention to you. In your campaign log, record that the investigators rescued Dr. Henry Armitage. Okay. Rescued Dr. Henry Armitage. Any one investigator may choose to add Dr. Henry Armitage to his or her deck. A. Hey. Who wants them? Um, After you draw a card, discard that card and exhaust Dr. Henry Armitage. Gain three resources. Oh, so he's a resource generator. Yeah. Um, the two, two. Um, I would say maybe you. My resource generation is not great. Um, yeah, I have like some weapon caches and stuff yeah. like that, so we'll give them to you. I mean, I have some of those, but 
I mean, I usually don't use them a lot. Um, so does he add to my... my he does not count towards your deck size. I don't think he um, This card does not count towards the Investigator's deck. It can be found in the Armitage's Fate Encounter set. Okay. The story continues in Scenario 2, the Miskatonic Museum. While each of the scenarios in Dungeon Legacy Cycle can be played in standalone mode, they can be combined to form a full eight-part campaign. The next scenario in the Dungeon Legacy campaign can be found in the Miskatonic Museum Mythos Pack. I have all that. So, that was just the interlude. Um, so, yeah. So that was the first part to... to the Dunwich Legacy. I'm kind of confused, though. Um, trying to say he's pale face and sweating with worry. He's grateful for searching for his colleagues, but he doesn't look to leave. Did something happen at the very beginning that I'm not remembering? Um, like, how did we... I guess, how did we save him? was my biggest... Um, I don't think we saved him. He wanted well, that's us, kinda, to, that's kinda he what wanted us to get to his bros and because there were attacks at the university or something like that. Oh, it said the investigators rescued Dr. Henry Armitage. That's what we record. Maybe we just rescued him from whatever. I guess we'll find out. Um, but that was... Uh, uh, the, 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 the House that, of that, Cards? Was it called the House of Cards? Cards of House. The House Always Wins. Uh, that was House Always Wins, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, we're going to obviously continue uh, at some point, so like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day that's for you. Hey, everyone. Thanks so much for watching this, and if you like this video, then click the subscribe button below to enjoy any video that I put out. And right next to that subscribe button is a little bell. Click that so you get notified of whenever I actually upload these videos. If you want to support the channel, you can definitely visit my Patreon page. The link is in the description below. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you.